Recently, I was asked how to rename an Apple device, such as a Mac computer, laptop or desktop, or an iPhone, iPad. This is one of those things that's not hard to do, if you know where to look. But that's the hard part. Even if you've done this before, it's easy to forget how you did it. So, on a Mac, the first step is to load the System Preferences app. I use this app a lot, so I like to keep it in the dock. But you can quickly access the System Preferences app from the Apple menu item. It's at the top left. Just select the System Preferences drop-down item. That will launch the app, where the next step is to select the Sharing option. I'm not quite sure what the logic is here. The icons are not sorted alphabetically. But if you are having trouble finding the icon, you can just type the word name in the search bar of the System Preferences app. That will highlight related options. If you press the down arrow until the computer name option is highlighted, you can see how the sharing icon is also brightly highlighted. That's the one you want for this task. So if you get lost in the System Preferences app, the search bar is a neat little feature to find other system settings. From there, the computer name field is where you can change the computer name. This field is powerful, so be aware of how it affects your computer. As an example, I have a local web server running on this computer. So changing the name here changes the way that website can be accessed. Other devices on my local network can access my website by going to mac-mini.local. That's why you might not be able to change the name of your computer. If your computer is being managed by an administrator, such as a network admin, you might not be able to change the name. There can be a logical reason for this, such as preventing two computers from having the same name on the network. <laughs> that could be bad. Naming the computer is what prompted this conversation, as something unusual happened with my Apple TV. Let's say you were playing Skate City on Apple Arcade, and you just pulled off an amazing trick. Fortunately, you screen recorded it, and now you want to move the video to a computer. The Apple TV lets you use AirDrop to move the video to another Apple device. The two sharing options here are my two main Macs, the Mac Mini and the M1 MacBook Air. Here's a quick look of what the M1 computer name setting looks like on that laptop. So here's the problem. I was seeing devices that were not on my network. My neighbor's iPhones were showing up in the list. That has disturbing privacy concerns. That's why it's important to manage your AirDrop settings. There's a difference between everyone and contacts only. But as an extra precaution, and where this tech support question originates, when you get a new Mac or new iPhone, you might be clicking through the settings without knowing what they mean. You might not want your computer to be named Michael's Laptop. Instead, maybe you want something a little less identifiable. You can check the name of your iPhone by going to the Settings app and then selecting General About Name. That's where you can change the name of your iPhone. Although a generic device name has its own set of problems, you don't want to accidentally send files to the wrong person or broadcast personal information unintentionally. So, it can be a delicate balance. But in general, be careful with how you use AirDrop. Anyway, hopefully that information helps you out. If you'd like to see more heroic tech support videos like this, you can view the related playlist. And if you want to be notified when new videos are available, subscribe to Photix TV. Thanks for watching.